My name's Owen Walker. I'm the EMS segment manager uh, for Airbus Helicopters. This is the new H140. Let's go take a look. So this is the new light twin helicopter from uh, Airbus and really is here to fulfill certain mission segments uh, but it's a versatile airframe which is multi-role, multi-function, multi-purpose so it can be easily configured into EMS uh, in the future into police, into PBA uh, and PAX transport. So it's this versatile airframe that you can use for a multi-role purpose. Uh, it's got a few design features which are pretty unique to the airframe itself. Firstly, we have the T-fin uh, on, on the fenestron, uh, and that gives us 60 kilograms of extra useful load. It's outside of the main rotor disc, uh, it doesn't get interfered with the downwash and actually causes a lot, of, um, a, a lot of useful load and really just a fantastic design feature for the airframe. We also have a, a clear cabin philosophy, which means it's 1.2 cubic meters of cabin space, bigger, larger, improving the workflow. We also have a bird resistant windshield as standard. We've integrated a lot of the STCs. Part of the design philosophy really is listening to customers early on in the, in the design, integrating those, uh, those pain points and those, that feedback into the helicopter, so we've done exactly that. So let's take a closer look at the H140. Um, as you can see here, there's a milled up aluminium floor which is uh, part of the design spec coming from the file, from the final assembly line. So it doesn't have to go to a supplier, it's part of the integrated Airbus solution. Together with the seats, which will be an integrated Airbus solution, and it really is this plug and play philosophy. So the concept is turnkey, so you can literally receive the airframe and be mission ready, mission capable straight away. Another design feature which is excellent in this airframe is the lighting feature and that's got focal lights um, together with a more blended generic light so you can have uh, focal uh, lights on the patient or indeed on, on drugs or you can have a general uh, lit, lit cabin and that really is just to facilitate different types of light because we know that visual acuity is extremely important within the HEMS mission. A further design feature which is absolutely fantastic really is the fact you've got uh, fixed provisions on the sides, on the ceilings, on the floor, which means you can design the airframe to your needs. You can have a ventilator on the roof, you can have a physiological monitor on the side, you can have, the, you can have the, a right-sided or left-sided uh, stretcher. Um, you can really reconfigure uh, the airframe to your needs and to, to, your, to your wants. Um, another design feature which is absolutely fantastic really is, as we just take a deeper look inside, is the fact you have a pivoting and swiveling uh, central seat column. That means you can pivot and swivel towards the patient and you can actually uh, deliver patient care in an ergonomically uh, sufficient and efficient way. There's no A pillar, uh, which means it's, it's good entry and egress, and also uh, from a weight perspective, that's essential, and any, any side loading of the patient, if or indeed uh, entry and egress of the clinical crew. The windows are bigger, the doors are bigger, uh, there's more free movement, and a, and a really nice touch is the fact you can have the TMC seat, so the left seat can swivel from the, from the cockpit to the cabin. So you can have a, an auto fluke seat, which is uh, in the cockpit, and then you can swivel into the cabin. And that gives the, gives the, the air crew the flexibility and maneuverability to be present both in the cockpit and in the cabin. So let's take a look at the clamshell doors and indeed the, uh, the fenestrin. So one of the unique design features of the H140 really is the clamshell door uh, entry and egress. And that it really facilitates patient care and patient loading. Uh, it's, it's larger uh, than the 135. Um, it's it's a, a larger cabin space. It's uh, 1.2 uh, meters from the ground. And it's, it's, it's a safe workspace. So the Finisterin, which is, which is, uh, which is a safe uh, method of uh, shrouding the tail rotor, and, and indeed it's, uh, the sound signature is uh, lower as well. So you can speak, you can converse, uh, and you can get the patient safely into, into the helicopter, even when the, road, uh, the rotor blades are, are running. Another design feature which is absolutely fantastic 
is, is the lighting system in the rear. So let's take a quick look. So we have the integrated lights, the, the light bars under the helicopter, and this really is for facilitating any patient care just before you load the patient. And you've, you've also got uh, the ability to, uh, to have uh, spotlights and sidebar lights, both within the cabin and within the tail rotor. Gives you better visual acuity, better control of your lighting condition, especially by night. So the T-Tail is a fantastic innovation um, and design philosophy and that really is to sit outside the rotor disc, the five bladed rotor disc, it gives 60, 60 kilograms of useful load and it's, it's, it's like an aerofoil concept. So what it does is it, it, it improves the airflow around the helicopter and gives uh, some residual lift to, to the airframe. You've also got on the tail rotor an integrated uh, camera device and this gives situational awareness to the, uh, to the pilot of what's underneath the airframe. And this is absolutely key when you're landing on a primary mission in a city, in a semi-urban uh, environment so you can see underneath the airframe. So thanks for sticking with us today. It's a fantastic uh, new helicopter, the H140, and we'll see you again soon.